Hello my friends, as per tradition in this channel, we are doing this recording in front of my closet in my bedroom that has no audio treatment. It is important to note that I live beside a busy and noisy street so you might hear cars and motorcycles passing by. I may or may not edit the audio of this video, so for the exact parameters of this recording, please check the description of the video below. So somebody asked me this question. Is the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice good for podcasting? The TLW, too long did not watch version of this video, is yes. This is good for podcasting. And if you want to hear this microphone, the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice in action, I do suggest that you visit my podcast. Link to my podcast can be found on the description of the video below. And I encourage you to subscribe to my channel because if you like this channel, you are going to like my podcast. So if you are still with me, you're still watching this video. My reasoning as to why I kept the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice as my main microphone and why I sold my Rode Procaster, my AKG D5S, is that <laughs> this microphone is 20 freaking dollars. And for 20 freaking dollars, this microphone sounds really good. So that's the first reason. The second reason is microphones, they're like Harry Potter. You, you, if you ever watch Harry Potter where he was told, Mr. Potter, the one chooses the wizard. Mics are kind of like that. The right mic for you kind of chooses you. And this microphone clearly chose me and this microphone works well with my voice. So... That is the second reason why I decided to keep this microphone. The third reason is that this is a dynamic microphone. And uh, with that, it doesn't pick up a lot of room noise. It is less sensitive compared to condenser microphones. And among dynamic microphones, this microphone is really quiet. I think the sensitivity of this microphone is around negative 70. So this microphone is not really sensitive. So it does not pick up a lot of room noise. And I don't know if you can hear the traffic from my window. My window is just right there. And uh, there are a lot of traffic noises, but I bet you, you can't hear it. And also you can't hear the reverb and the echo. And as you can see, I have concrete walls and <laughs> of course you don't see I have ceramic tile floors so you don't hear the room you don't hear the echoes and that is because this microphone is a dynamic microphone and it is not very sensitive and my fourth reason for choosing this microphone is the sound profile of this microphone is dark it's muddy. It's more on the low end. And if you are doing a podcast, that sound profile is much more preferable. Because if you have a microphone that is more on the high end, after a while, it gets tiring to listen to. You have ear fatigue. And also, it does not sound, I don't know how to put this, but microphones that don't have that warm sound, that muddy, that dark sound, does not sound like broadcast quality, like or radio-like. And this microphone definitely have that low end, that broadcast quality sound if you listen to my podcast. And the fifth reason why I chose this microphone as my main microphone over the Rode Procaster is that this microphone is more versatile than the Rode Procaster and all of those other microphones that are marketed as podcasting mic. What do I mean by versatile? 
What I mean by versatile is that this microphone is a live mic and thus you could hand hold this microphone without a problem. And if you're going out for a review or an interview rather, you could use this just, you know, pointing the mic to your to your other person that you are interviewing. But you cannot do that with the Rode Procaster or other podcasting microphones. So those are my five reasons why I kept this microphone as my main microphone. And once again, if you would like to hear the Behringer XM8500 Ultra Voice in action, I do suggest that you you visit my podcast. Link to my podcast can be found on the description below. And I do encourage you to subscribe to my podcast. If you like this channel, I'm sure you're going to like my podcast as well. And I do have two things to ask of you. If you like this microphone, please buy it through my affiliate link found on the description below. It gives me a few cents of your sales, of, or rather of your purchase, at no extra cost to you. And the next thing that I want to ask you is please subscribe to my channel. It helps me, it makes me happy to see subscribers to my channel. And also, I don't make a lot of videos. When I make a video, I really have something to say. So please, while you are clicking that subscribe button, please click that little bell so you know when I publish a new video. So with that, Thank you for being with me in this video and I will see you on the next video. Thank you. Namaste.